What is going on everybody and welcome back to Mr. Place and today I'm going to be t going over what Nintendo should do for the Age of Calamity DLC Wave 2 and also how they could have made this game into more of a long term project. I'll show you what I mean. But before we talk about that, let's talk about the DLC Wave 2. Okay, so Nintendo said for the DLC Wave 2 they were going to add new character Viginite which I don't really know what that means, but they are also going to add new stages and expand roster, as well as new battle skills for existing characters. So I'm kind of like thinking these new battle skills, it's kind of like a buff. Like, if the battle skills are good in terms of like combos and stuff, these battle skills can kind of be like a buff. So if they give Hestu some really good existing battle skills, he might be pretty good after this. So we'll see how that turns out. Also, um, I was hoping they were going to add on the Royal Ancient Lab. It does not seem like they're going to be doing that. Um, so that's very interesting because I really thought they were going to do that once I saw what the Royal Ancient Lab looked like. Um, and, but it does say newly added stages, so I don't really know how that's going to play out because, um, DLC Wave 1, all the newly added stages were, like, kind of linked to the Royal Ancient Lab, so I'm not really sure how that's going to work out, but um, I really think they should have expanded on the Royal Ancient Lab, um, especially because it's like such a good way to unlock um, the new character or new characters and new weapons and upgrading stuff and that kind of thing. So now that we know they're probably not going to expand on the Royal Ancient Lab, I'm kind of curious on how we're going to unlock new things, because it doesn't look like we're going to get a whole nother thing like that, and since the stages is probably not going to be anything to do with the Royal Ancient Lab, um, I'm not really sure how this is going to play out. Maybe it's just going to be like how you unlocked um, the actual story characters, and it's just like you beat the quest and you unlock them. So I'm really curious to see how that plays out, but... Um, yeah, I really were hoping that they would add to it. Now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to be telling you guys how Nintendo could have made this into more of a long-term project. Sort of like Animal Crossing in a way. Alright, now, if Nintendo were to release an update for this game, like, every month, just pretty much like a DLC every month with at least, like, one new character, um, maybe, couple, maybe like, two new weapons and a mini expansion to the Royal Ancient Lab... I think this game has, would have, um, like, a lot of potential. I know there are, like, other games like Fortnite or Call of Duty that, that do this kind of thing where it's just constantly updating the game and adding new things and stuff. Um, and I feel like this game, out of any other Zelda game, had the most potential for that. Just the whole style of the game and that kind of thing. Now, this would pretty much solve my problem in Zelda games, which is... Um, you're pretty much done with the game after like two, after like a month, two weeks, or something, and then the DLC would come out, and then you'd play that for like two weeks to a month or something, depending on how big it is and that kind of thing. Um, so this would definitely solve that problem. Um, though there's probably still a million reasons, and I can think of a few why they're not going to do this and why it wouldn't be a good idea. But I think out of all the Zelda games that have um, previously came out that I've played, I think this one has the most potential to be one of those games. And I also think it would be pretty cool. Either way, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like down below. Also, you can subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out on any new videos. And also make sure to check us out on Twitter at MrPlays9. But until next time, peace! <gasps>